Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here, in today's video we are going back into another Destiny Rumble Challenge. Now, I was going to use some other weapons like the Vex Mythic class and maybe a sidearm, but I had these blue weapons that I had gotten over the past couple of days of playing Trials of Osiris. Honestly, I kind of wanted to test them out. I've never done a challenge like this before and I have used Vex Mythic class quite a few times. So I kind of wanted to test this out using these blue weapons for the first time ever. Now, anytime I get any blue weapons or anything, you, just like you guys, I probably scrap them down pretty much instantaneously. I never even really look at them or give them a chance. But when I was looking at the stats and the rolls on some of these weapons that I had gotten over just random drops in the Crucible, I decided that I really did want to test them out. This fusion rifle looked pretty crazy, and the auto rifle had some pretty crazy rolls on it too with Gorilla Fighter as well as Range Finder, so it actually was pretty cool, and I definitely did want to test them out. So this is going to be my first time ever using these weapons. We're hopping straight into a Rumble Challenge now. Luckily enough, we got Exodus Blue, which is pretty great because I was just playing this with Trials with Cyrus over the past few days, and it kind of fits in because we're running a bunch of blue weapons, so... Let's see how this goes. We're gonna hop right into this game. I don't know even I don't even know what these guns are like. I've never tested them out before. I've used an auto rifle somewhat similar to that, like the same archetype, but never these specific weapons. Now, based on the rules of this fusion rifle, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty amazing. In fact, I might even just level it up to 400 light and keep it on me because it just looked like the rolls on it were crazy. So we're gonna see after this game whether or not it's actually any good or not. Unfortunately, I don't think I actually can infuse it. I'm gonna have to go out and get another one with the same rolls at a different light level. So I probably won't ever be able to use this. In an actual game, wow. Alright. So, oh, as you guys can tell, these weapons are not exactly all that great. I tried, I kind of need to get used to the rolls on this auto rifle. And this fusion doesn't even seem to be doing any damage at all. Alright. Luckily, that guy's not too great. Hopefully, this is actually a little bit challenging. I know some of these challenges I do, I just go against really terrible teams and it's... Oh, Shoddy Warrior! Alright, there we go. But yeah, sometimes I go against really terrible teams and it's not even really that fun to watch because it's just like me destroying them. But with these weapons, I don't think we're going to be going... Oh, he's back? I don't think we're going to be going against a bad team this time. So we're going to have to probably play pretty hard. Hopefully, these weapons actually are good enough to come out with a W. So far, we're doing pretty great. I don't know how I destroyed that Shoddy Warrior. Universal Remote just lost to this Blue Fusion, so that's pretty crazy. We're going to keep it going, though. This is a really weird sight for a Fusion Rifle. Yeah, I don't really like it. Oh, And there he goes. Alright, I think I'm going to change the sight on this fusion rifle. That's cool for the sniper rifle, the Omelon sniper rifle, but I'm not liking it for this one. So we're going to switch it over to the Spark. Hopefully I'm able to get some more kills. This might be a little bit better than the other one. I think it will be. But so far, as far as the range and the charge up time, it's actually pretty great. It's got unflinching as well. Oh god, these guys... I'm going to get destroyed. I need these guys to fight each other. I just need to run until they start fighting each other before I die. Uh-oh. Oh, I think we... Oh my god, we just mapped that guy. Completely mapped him. Okay, this fusion's, am this fusion's amazing. Yo, okay, so if you guys have this thing, change the sight on it. Do not use that other one I was using. That's terrible, but now we're doing pretty great. I shouldn't even be alive. I should have burned out. We're going to regen our health. Unbelievable. So maybe these blue weapons are actually pretty great. Like I said, just based off the stats alone of that fusion rifle, at least, I really did want to test it out and possibly keep it on me. I might do something and actually use it in Trials of Osiris. Not even really as a challenge, but just because it's actually that good. But we gotta wait and see. Honestly, it's so far it actually seems a little bit better than my 77 Wizard, which is pretty crazy to say. The 77 Wizard I have is really awesome. It's got Rangefinder as well, but just because it takes so long to charge up, and that really is a big problem that people have with almost all the fusion rifles in this game. The ones that do a lot of damage and have a lot of range just take way too long to charge up for them to even really be competitive or to compete with shotguns. So honestly, with this one with this blue fusion, because of the charge up time and the range, as much as it's a blue, it actually seems like it's pretty good just because of the fact that it shoots pretty far. It doesn't have range finder, so you're not going to like map every single person from full health, but just the fact that it does the amount of damage that it does makes it pretty easy to clean them up with almost any weapon, even this auto rifle. So we're going to actually take the scope off this auto rifle as well. That thing was not really my favorite. I, I'd rather have this sight, the iron sight. It just feels like Modern Warfare 2 if you guys ever played that. It's basically like using the Scar H all over again, so I definitely love that. Goodbye, Hunter. You're not coming in this bubble. Alright, so yeah, I am running Bubble and Sticky Grenades. I know a lot of people don't like me using Stickies for some reason, but honestly, they've just been too fun lately. I've been making some ridiculous Sticky plays over the past couple of days. Kills that I never even really thought were possible, so I've just been running a lot of Sticky Grenades lately. So I do apologize if you're someone that just hates Sticky Grenades. Anytime people use them, you think they're super cheap, but that's what I'm running today, and I just got wrecked out of my Bubble. Alright, so so far we're doing okay. We're 910 to 745, so we're a little bit behind. This fusion Rifle's... We're kind of working. I don't really know what to say so far. I haven't really been able to give it the fair shot. There we go. Able to clean that guy up. Oh, no. Ooh, quick triple down. That's pretty nice. All right, so yeah, the fusion rifle, I'm still trying to get used to. I'm not sure if it's 100% great or not. 
As far as I can tell so far, it's one of those fusion rifles where you want to aim towards someone's feet. A lot of fusion rifles, because of the fact that the recoil is so high, you gotta just have to aim at people's feet, and the recoil will sort of just guide you into a free kill every single time. So I've got to kind of work on that a little more, aiming a little lower than normal. That's kind of a bad habit to get into, so it's not something I'm really used to with the fusions. And yeah, the charge up time is still a little bit off. Now, as for this auto rifle, I can't even really suggest it. It's pretty awful. It's got 60 bullets in the clip, so it's one of those crazy fast fire rating ones. But as for me, I'm not, I've never been all that great with the auto rifles in this game. Like I said, I played Call of Duty back in the day, and I was pretty good at that game. But for some reason, anytime I use auto rifles in this game, they just don't seem to compete very well with any weapon. And you have to change your entire playstyle up like crazy, really, to use them effectively. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad and that you're never going to be able to use a fusion rifle and with an auto rifle, but... As for me, the way that I play, auto rifles are really just not my forte, and in order to fully get used to them, I would have to really adjust my playstyle. So, anytime you see me with an auto rifle, you're probably going to just see me getting wrecked. I can't even, oh, I couldn't even kill that guy. I got forced out by his Luna. See, now if there weren't hand cannons in this game, auto rifles might be a little crazier. This whole game would just be a lot different without hand cannons, so just because hand cannons are so effective, you just have to be really good with your auto rifle. You miss like two shots and you're pretty much dead, and as you can tell, I'm missing a bunch of shots, so... Alright, we're going to try to cover this heavy. I don't want them getting heavy. And you usually won't see me using heavy, but I might have to do it this time. We'll have to see. If I want to try to get a double kill of anything, I don't usually use my heavy. But this guy keeps getting away. I can't, I don't have any special ammo to use my fusion, and this auto rifle is just garbage. So I'm going to have to use a couple rockets here. I don't want to use all of them if I don't have to, but that guy deserved it. Unfortunately, still out of fusion. This whole game is going to come down to special ammo for me. I don't want to use this rocket, so I'm just going to have to bait these guys into auto rifle kills or something. Oh man, it really sucks. I hate special ammo so bad. And I lost. Ooh. Oh, no, I, no special ammo. I gotta pop the bubble. I gotta pop the bubble. Get out, boy. No. No, no. I am so done. Okay, guys. So, anytime you're at a special ammo, it's time to use your grenades and super. <laughs> Don't tell me he's gonna rush bubble again. I'm gonna get wrecked. No! 60 bullets in the clip and I run out in the worst possible second. Oh, it's all right. That was a really cheap ass play. That, for me to get a five piece right there would have just been way too broken. I'm kind of glad he killed me. All right, my my whole objective right now is really just to get more special ammo because I need to use this fusion rifle. The auto rifle is not that bad. No. Oh, he's gonna jump off the map. Goodbye, sir. I thought I just stuck him. All right, but yeah, this auto rifle is okay. But like I said, you can't miss any bullets, and this thing sucks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that guy just saved my life on the other team. All right. I'm just going to try to stay in really, really close corridors. The only place I can get auto rifle kills in this game, I have to. There's no other option but for me to camp just a little bit. Oh my gosh. I as Luna versus auto rifles, I lose every single time. Literally every time I've lost. All right. Special ammo. I'm going to lose if I don't get special ammo. I'm going to have to resort to more sticky grenades, I guess. Goodbye. Really sucks. I don't like using stickies like that. That's really cheap, but no way. All right. Thank God. Thank God. We actually are doing pretty alright. We're only three kills in the lead though, so I do want to wrap this up. But hey, if you guys didn't realize yet, for people that do watch these challenges, like every time I upload one, we don't have an arch nemesis this game, so that's really cool. Usually, I, if, if you guys are new to the channel, every single time I do one of these rumble challenges, there's always one guy on the other team that I have to coin as like my arch nemesis, because I don't know what it is. Every time I play rumble, there's always that one guy that seems to manage to just destroy me every time. But this game's actually pretty balanced. I finally got some more special ammo, so we're about to go on another tear. I, like I said, I really am liking this fusion rifle. Maybe I'll have to find one of my legendary fusions and just... Oh! Oh my gosh. I need to get one of my actual good fusion rifles and see how good that is. Because this blue one is amazing. If you guys have one of these in your vault or just ever see this drop, guys, you might want to test it out for yourselves. This one's actually pretty great. And it's surprising because this blue weapon seems to be better than even some of the exotics in this game right now. So definitely don't always delete your blue weapons, guys. They're actually pretty decent. Oh, I thought it was going to map him. It's all right. Quick cool cleanup, like I said, auto rifle swap is not that bad. See, when we had fusion rifle, that was an easy play. Like, every single life that I had fusion, I didn't even stress. It was super easy. I run out of special ammo, and then that whole game changes. It sucks. But hey, we came out with a win. Actually pretty amazing. 23 kills, 1.92 KD. I did way better than I thought I was, guys. I thought for sure this was going to take me a few tries, but... Luckily, the team on the other side wasn't full of a bunch of tryhards. Like I said, it was a pretty balanced game. Look at third, fourth, and fifth place, all with pretty much roughly the same kills. So that was actually a pretty balanced game. And I ended up just getting pretty lucky with a couple sticky grenades. So definitely GG to those guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this challenge. If you did, remember, I always accept challenges if you leave them down in the comments. It may take me a few days to get to them. 
Also, if you are looking for Charles Bosire's help, you can catch me over on my Twitch account. I'll leave a link down to that in the description, and I'll probably be playing all day later today, trying to get people to the lighthouse. So if you're interested in that, definitely check the description, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.